You know, you can learn data science for free online. And I'm going to show you how. So the value of knowledge shouldn't depend upon where that knowledge was acquired, right? I mean, knowledge acquired at Oxford or Cambridge or MIT or Harvard is of no greater intrinsic value than knowledge acquired elsewhere through YouTube and blogs and other online resources. Also, access to that knowledge shouldn't be dependent upon how many people fit in a classroom or how many people can be accommodated on a course that's taught by a, a particular professor. Now, the good news is that if you don't have access to a university and the tutors and the professors that go with it, you can learn all of this stuff online. I've created a curated list of learning resources that will take you from knowing nothing or very little about Python and data science and get you up to the level where you have enough expertise in order to start applying for jobs in that field. It's quite a long list. Get a cup of tea. Make yourself comfortable. Not that comfortable, and let's get started. Hmm, I wonder what the best way of starting this is. Why don't you start by explaining what a data scientist does? Great idea. Data science is quite a broad term that covers a number of skills. A data scientist will know how to code, have a good understanding of maths and algorithms, and be able to use these skills to gain insight from data, and using that insight make predictions and draw inferences. It's summed up well by this Venn diagram created by Drew Conway. Data scientists also know how to do a whole host of other things. They know how to ask the right questions of their data. They know how to do great data visualizations, how to clean their data. And importantly, they know how to communicate their findings about the data to non-data scientists. So with all that in mind, let's look at the learning path that I've put together. Okay, so here's the list, it's quite long. I'm not gonna go through every link on here, but I just wanna take you through the sort of broad subjects. It's split up into Python, um, uh, to begin with the Python basics, then it moves on to maths, linear algebra and calculus. Uh, then there are some practice Python projects, uh, and there's a little bit more Python. There's a section on data exploration and data visualization. Obviously that's really important some Kaggle um, tutorials, not the actual competitions, but the tutorials, they'll be useful. Probability and statistics, statistical learning, um, and then Python and data science, sort of combining what you know about Python and from the statistical learning in order to be able to use Python for um, probability and statistics. There's a little section on scikit-learn, and then we move on to data structures and algorithms in Python, TensorFlow, and then SQL. Uh, and then there's a section on Git, and version control, and then learning R. There's also some supplementary materials. Those are the uh, links to some of the documentation in Python, plus some subreddits, the Python subreddit and the data science subreddit, because you're gonna to need to be part of a community. That's gonna be really important, so make sure you join those. You're gonna be Googling a lot to find out solutions to problems, uh, and so you will encounter Stack Overflow and Stack Exchange. There's a, a data science Stack Exchange as well. Check those out. And I've also included a link to how to think like a computer scientist, it's a, it's a free book. I think that will help you. It's really important that you write a blog and that you put all of the projects you do on GitHub, okay? I can't stress how important that is. Write a blog about your experience with data science and also that teaches the concepts that you've learned. You must post once a week. Now, I haven't included a lot of R resources because if you follow this through, by the time you get to the section on R, you'll sort of know the resources that work for you. Um, and I don't want to overwhelm you with lots of stuff. And if you've never done any programming before, it's easier just to learn one language at a time rather than two. But you're going to need to know R as well. The things I'd like to draw your attention to are uh, in Python basics, the lectures.quanticon.org forward slash pi. It's all about uh, learning Python from scratch, but it covers the scientific libraries and explains them so well. The book by Jake van der Plaas, which is uh, on GitHub, is also uh, an excellent resource. It's free. His um, examples are great and he explains things very well. So you must 
look at those in the maths, the linear algebra and calculus, where we have essence of linear algebra and the essence of calculus. Those playlists are created by um, three blue, one brown, and the content on there is exceptional. It explains the concepts of uh, maths or linear algebra and calculus really, really well. Project Euler .net. Now that is a project that um, sort of sets challenges for you to do. You can answer them any, in any programming language, but they're sort of programming challenges. Um, now I'm not saying you should work your way all the way through Project Euler, but just do a few of the problems. If you don't do anything else with this list, make sure you take the class where it says take this class uh, at the bottom just before Learn R. That is the Harvard course on data science and it is superb. So make sure you do that. Now, all of these resources are free. And finally, you know, you need to be part of a community. I've included links to some Slack groups on data science. That list is in no way meant to be exhaustive. And, you know, keep checking back because I'm going to be adding to it over time as I find more useful and interesting resources. But bear in mind that projects are really important. Make sure you do lots of projects, you know, and try to do a capstone project every three months or so. This is a marathon rather than a sprint and it's going to take you a little while good luck and let me know how you get on oh and the blog make sure you blog what you're doing and you know send the blogs to me and i'd love to share some of them on the channel it's raining so i'm going to go inside